Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. Function calling is the ability to inject data coming from external APIs or external tools into the text generation process. In this video, I'm going to show you function calling with RC Conductor, enabling you to use external APIs or tools while making sure you automatically select the best SLM or LLM to run inference. Let's get started. If you haven't done so already, you should sign up to RC Conductor. Just go to conductor.rc.ai and it takes a minute. Uh, once you've signed up, uh, you just need to create an API key. And that's the only thing we'll need to run the demo. Okay. So uh, of course, the link to the notebook is in the video description. So first, uh, we need to install some dependencies. As always, I recommend creating a virtual environment. Here, we're going to invoke uh, APIs from Yahoo Finance. So that's why we need the Y Finance package. And of course, we need the OpenAI client because as you probably know by now, Conductor is compatible with the OpenAI API. Okay, then we create uh, the OpenAI client pointing to the Conductor URL okay and passing the key so let's just run this and then you can see my three test functions so one is going to retrieve the stock price for uh, a particular company one is going to get the ceo name and uh, the last one is going to get a company summary okay and we can see the three corresponding yahoo finance calls so feel free to tweak this feel free to use uh, your own APIs. Uh, this is just a simple example with a, a free public API. Okay, so let's just run this. We can just double check that yes, those functions work. Okay, so here I'm calling the uh, Yahoo API directly. And here's the uh, here's the most important part. So here we use the OpenAI uh, tools uh, definition. And as you can see, we have uh, a number of blocks, right? Describing each function, okay? With the description and some examples. Um, this is really useful because it will help the model match your query to, um, I would say, similar queries that the function should be able to, to fulfill, okay? And then we describe the parameters and here we for example we pass the company name which is a string so that's going to be the uh, human readable name and uh, we are passing the ticker okay and in fact we'll see that in in most queries we'll just mention company names and the model will automatically infer what the correct ticker is which is another benefit of working with a, a language model so here's the uh the second function the CEO name, so very similar examples, parameters, and the summary. So this information will be passed in every prompt, okay? And this is how the model will try to match your query to the appropriate function. Okay, so then um, I'm writing a function called uh, call tools, which will get the user prompt and well, the max tokens. And as you can see here, I'm invoking the uh, conductor API, passing auto-tool as the model name. Okay, if you watch my previous videos on model routing, uh, we used to pass auto, which would select the right SLM or LLM for, uh, I would say, plain text generation. Here, we want to do function calling. So we need to enable models that are capable of function calling, okay? So make sure to use auto-tool, and the rest is just the uh, usual API, passing the tool definition that we just looked at, and tool choice uh, is set to auto, meaning uh, we let the model pick the appropriate tool, okay? Uh, so this will be the actual model that conductor selected, okay? So don't confuse auto-tool, which is, hey, pick the right model with tool choice, set to auto, which is, hey, once conductor has sent this, has routed this query to a model, the model will pick the right tool automatically. 
And then looking at the model's response, we can see if a tool was selected, uh, which function was selected, which parameters uh, were selected, and we actually run the function call, okay, which is, uh, which is what you see here, okay, calling the actual function uh, and displaying the results, right? And if no tool was called, then we say, hey, no tool was called. Um, this is um, a slightly um, more elaborate version where uh, I'm running the function calling uh, here, and then uh, I'm passing the output from that uh, previous function to uh, another model, right? To write a better story, okay? Because we're probably not just interested in the function output. Uh, the function output is just useful information. And, um, and now we want to pass this information to maybe another uh, creative writing model to, um, to make the answer look nice, to apply uh, you know, tone of voice, uh, to, um, you know, put extra context in there, etc. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay. So here I'm calling, uh, I'm calling another model to generate a story. Okay. So let's run this first prompt. Uh, so we see that this was routed to caller, which is our own uh, function calling model. Caller decided that given this query, we should call get CEO name with company name set to General Motors and stock symbol set to GM. So see, that's what I told you before. M my query doesn't say GM, it says General Motors, but as the function expects uh, uh, the, the ticker, the, the stock symbol, the model automatically um, infers that, well, the correct ticker for General Motors is GM. So that's pretty cool. And then, we actually call that function uh, and retrieve the result. Okay, so that's the um, I mean that's the baseline answer. But now if we take this output and and uh, pass it to Blitz, let's see what we get. Okay, so we're going to run the function calling prompt again, retrieve the result, pass this output to Blitz, and hopefully we'll see a, a slightly better story here. Okay. So that's useful here because we see a tool was called. Okay, so we can trust the answer probably a little more. Here's the answer, and well, there's some extra analysis which is based on um, uh, Blitz's knowledge. Okay, uh, so if you have models that do well in particular domains, you can use their knowledge to augment your answer, and uh, and we have some extra URLs in, in case we want to see more, and those were. Um, those were generated by Blitz too. Okay, so let's try another one now. Let's try this one. What's the last price of McDonald's? Okay, so this time we used Sone. Why not? Uh, probably the router decided it was slightly, uh, slightly more complex question. We get the uh, the output from the API. And now if we ask Blitz to do a little more, okay, we use the tool, here's the answer. Uh, we got a little more information on McDonald's, again, some URLs, okay? So let's try a slightly harder question. Does 3M make filtration products for the automotive industry? So this feels like a company summary kind of thing. Okay, so we used color again, uh, get company summary, 3M, MMM, and we get the verbatim output from the Yahoo Finance API. So there's got to be some information in there, but that's where probably using the uh, additional model will be useful. Okay, so I use the tool. Yes, 3M does make filtration products. And we get uh, we get an analysis here, okay, and that's pretty interesting. While the tool does not specifically mention filtration products, 3M's extensive involvement in the automotive sector suggests that the company likely offers filtration solutions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, obviously, if we had uh, we could have RAG uh, into the mix, we could retrieve information from you know 3M documents. And, uh, and we could augment the, um, the, the quality of the answer here. 
Okay, but just to show you, you know, the model could be a, could be a, a source of knowledge too. Okay, let's try maybe this one. On which products do Procter and Gamble and Johnson and Johnson compete the most? Probably a little harder still. So we call GPT-40 on this one. Uh, very interesting. We see two uh, function calls because yes, I did mention two company names. Uh, and so automatically the model figures it out uh, and, and calls those two APIs. And we see the output for the two companies here. Um, and let's see what Blitz can write about this. Okay. So P&G and G&G compete most in the healthcare and personal care sector, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and we get an analysis, uh, overlapping areas, again, some additional resources, right? So as you can see, um, uh, here we're working with well-known public companies. So, you know, it's kind of expected that Blitz would know um, what those companies are, uh, are manufacturing and selling. And this is, this is just a small model. This is uh, actually the smallest and most cost-efficient model you could use. Uh, in uh, in conductor so um, so that's pretty cool and in fact you know if we have to have fun and combine um, automatic tool calling with automatic uh, model routing we could set the model to auto so now we're gonna ask conductor to make two decisions right pick the right model for function calling and then pick the right model for report generation let's see how this works So running conductor in full auto mode, uh, so to speak, this is what we get. And if we look at the conductor console, let me reload this to make sure. Uh, we can see, so this is the um, this is the function calling tool, right? We saw that uh, GPT-40 was selected uh, for function calling and Blitz was actually selected to write the story. Right, we can see uh, we can see tool results here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I was right in using Blitz all along, right? Um, and uh, and of course you can see different models have been used along the way. We used Caller, we used Sonet, well uh, GPT and Blitz, etc. And we'll keep adding more models here. Um, and the obvious benefit is we only use the larger models when uh, when we have to. And particularly here for uh, for story generation, uh, we can get away with Blitz, which is again the simplest and smallest and most cost efficient model. So, bottom line, if you're running function calling uh, with uh, you know GPT or um, or Sonet 100 percent, well, you're I'm sorry to say you're probably spending too much money because as we can see here, uh, we can get quality results quality function calling results and quality text generation results from uh, much more cost efficient models, right? All right, well, that's what I wanted to, uh, to show you. This just came out and I think this is, uh, this is a pretty cool uh, demonstration and, uh, and use case for model routing. I'll see you soon with more content. Of course, as always, keep rocking.